All right, everybody, welcome back. We are on level six of lesson 12, the draw loop. So we've got our practice level, which means that we're going to take all the all the skills that we've been learning, and now we're going to get to practice them. We've got three activities. So let's see how uh, easily we can get through this. All right, the first activity says uh, updating properties. So we have two aliens over here, and they're doing a little boogie. Uh, this level combines some of the skills you've already seen. It's drawing ellipses in the background and also updating sprite properties. This time it's changing the sprite's rotation property. So do this. This animation already is updating one sprite's rotation property to make it look like it's shaking. Run the program to see how it works. Add code to this program to make the other alien shake just like the first. Move on when your program looks like the picture to the right. Okay, so if we run it, all right, so the green alien is dancing. We need to make the pink alien dance too. So world frame rate, we got one variable, we got two variables, all right, and then setting up the drawing, okay. Um, so it says background black, yep, ellipse, random, okay. So those are all the, the stars that we see. Um, green alien rotation, so good. Uh, but there's nothing for the pink alien. So all we have to do is come in here and add in the same thing for the green alien. We're going to add... Ooh, you know what? That's the wrong box. Uh -huh. We need this. We need the rotation one. All right, so we got pink alien, um, random number, negative five, five. All right, let's see. What did I misspell? Up. Oh, we got my, there we go. All right, so if I did this correctly, we're going to reset. When I press run, we're going to see two dancing aliens. So, yep, there we go. Cool. Okay, so all we had to do was add that. Let's press finish and move on to the next activity. So debug blurry sprite. What I expected it to do, shake around like that. What is it doing instead? Oh, okay, it looks kind of, mm. yep, something's wrong there. Uh, run the program to see the bug. Use the clues to try to find the bug. Once you found it, fix the program so that it shakes like the image on the right. Okay, so. Uh, let's see what we got. So we got our function draw. We got our variable. We got our set animation. Oh, I am yawning. So I uh, just got back from a very long trip and I'm still adjusting to the time zone. Ah. All right. Um, so background blender X, blender Y, draw sprites. Um, you know, I'm going to, okay, so what I'm going to start with is I'm going to put these outside and then I'm going to see if that does anything. Um, because it, inside the draw function, this is supposed to repeat every time you go around. So it's think of it as like a circle, right? Um, and I just, uh, let's see, let's see. So if I reset this and run, okay, perfect. That's exactly what we needed. So we just needed the variable and the set animation to be outside of the draw function. Great. All right, we're going to click finish, continue. Let's go to the next activity, see? All right, so debug. Sprite not working. No, sprite not moving. Debug why the sprite is not moving, even though we updated its position in the draw loop. So if we run, mm, it is standing still. All right. What I expected it to do was shake around. What it's doing instead is not moving at all. Uh, run the program to see the bug. Use the clues to try and to find the bug. Uh, hint, if you get stuck, we love hints. Where is draw sprites placed in the code? Mm, that probably has something to do with it. And then another hint, is the screen being cleared at the beginning of the draw loop? How do we normally clear the screen? Oh, I'm gonna need coffee. All right, um, so reset, run again, still stuck. All right, now last activity, we had these two outside of the draw loop. So let's put these into the draw loop and see if that does anything. Nope. <laughs> All right. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. I like adding white space to things because then it, they're just, they're so much easier to see. But it's not letting me do that. I know how to do it. Uh, uh, uh. All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna, yeah. okay. Show blocks. 
There we go. I like having everything kind of spaced out just because it's easier to see as you're reading through the code. Um, so let's see if that worked. Reset and run. Yep, there we go. We have a shaking blender. All right, we're going to click on finish. And I think we're done with this level. Yep, we're done with the level. So we're going to click finish here and I will see you on level seven.